Looks like it's gonna be a normal gym day, right? Wrong. Forgot to bring a freaking pair of shorts or even even joggers for deadlifts. So I'm about to deadlift in scrubs. Hopefully they don't rip. <laughs> but we'll see what happens. It's gonna be an interesting workout. Uh, today I wanna work a little bit differently. I'm gonna show you guys raw clips and I'm gonna talk to the camera in between sets, kinda talk about my sets, how they went. Um, just because the gym's dead and I have really been experimenting with like different kind of content on this channel, so let's get into it. New uh, alpha lead line here, guys. Uh, Grey's Anatomy. This is a Chucky Beat production. My warm-ups are moving pretty slow, which is a little nerve-wracking for a day when I'm supposed to be doing progressive triples. But we'll see how it goes. Let's put on 225, and that's when I'll integrate the mix correctly. I felt pretty good. Um, I'm not like 100% satisfied with my form on it, uh, just because I'm a little bit of a form Nazi. But um, felt good enough for me to go up. So this is 285 on the bar right now. I'm gonna go for three. Uh, feel okay, especially after working a five-hour shift, kind of like on my feet. Again, I'm not saying that it's like the worst thing in the world. I'm just saying that I would probably feel fresher if I were able to do it like first thing in the day. I was able to like relax a little bit beforehand, but. No worries, we're still getting it done. Hashtag no excuses. there that I um ooh, you guys saw there that I kind of took a second um not necessarily because of a difficult thing but because I took a, a breath wrong and I would rather take a second reset myself reset my form and my technique and everything and avoid injury than to try to force a rep so I just took a second just to kind of like reaccompany myself and then I pulled again so not a huge deal but makes a big difference Let's talk about why I'm not wearing a belt. So I'm not wearing a belt because I don't have a real reason. I just kind of, I want to train beltless. Um, kind of same reason why I've tried to veer away from like using straps and stuff. I just kind of want to feel like it's all me and that's kind of a silly point. Um, there's, I don't have any like science behind it or anything. Um, I just don't want to wear a belt. Um, it, it may, I feel stronger when I pull without a belt. Not like stronger, like I, can, I think I can pull more with a belt, honestly, but I feel like more accomplished, if that makes sense, when I pull without a belt. So, I've been beltless for maybe like six months, but it feels good. Um, now that I'm starting to work back into some heavy training, heavy squats, heavy deads, and heavy bench, um, it, feel, it feels good. You know, I don't, I don't feel like I need it, um, and it feels good, and I, and I would just, and it's just me though, you know, I, I just personally feel more accomplished when I lift a weight without the belt. But it's a little bit silly, it's almost kind of like bro science-y. But uh, if you want a belt, wear a belt. If you don't want a belt, don't wear a belt. 295 felt okay. Um, nothing has felt fantastic so far today. Um, so, 
felt good enough for me to go up to 305. So just making 10 pound jumps today. So I'm thinking I'm gonna hit another 30. I'm gonna hit 305, and then I'm gonna hit it for another set for a total of five sets. So we gotta set it. So we'll have a set. The goal is to have a set at 275, 285, 295, 305, 305. So yeah. Yeah, so I'm thinking we're gonna stay right at 305. I could maybe push it to 315, but I don't think I'd be able to hold on to it. And I think my form would be really sloppy. So we'll stick with 305 today, that's fine. So when you guys saw the very first clip um, of me warming up at the bar, it was 152. It's now 228. Um, I'm just kind of give you an idea. Um, my warm up is exactly what you saw. I did. Some with the bar, some with 135, some with 185, couple with 225, and then started the first working set. So give you an idea of how long the whole the whole process takes me for dead. Um, I'm still kind of accumulating myself to heavy volume because it's been a while since I've like heavy trained. But uh, yeah, just give you an idea. Okay, guys. So here's what we're gonna do. I'm gonna film this set from the exact same angle that I filmed the last set of 305. In comparison to like fatigue and everything, we're gonna put them side by side and see what happens and kind of compare them a little bit. So guys, I'm on a neutral grip pull downs after the, all those deadlifts. Um, I'm gonna do two sets of 15 and then two sets of eight. What you're gonna watch right now is gonna be the uh, first set of 15. As you guys can see here, what I'm trying to do is I'm retracting and depressing my shoulder blades and then I'm pulling through my elbows. Now when I mean pulling through my elbows, I mean I'm leading with my pinky and I'm trying to tuck my elbows. After I do that, I complete the contraction. I let my elbows up. Still trying to keep my shoulder blades as tight as possible. And then at the top of the motion, I let my shoulder blades back up. So it looks like this. So my arm is up, I shrug down, put them my elbow, elbow up, shoulder blade up. That way, you're getting scapular depression, scapular elevation, along with your pull down. So up next is gonna be a one arm isolated low hammer row. Now what I'm gonna try to do here is I'm gonna try to move my arms in kind of like an arch to try to emulate a straight arm pull down. I feel my lats a lot better on this and this is why I do this. You guys will see the way my arm bends. I'm trying to minimize the flexion at my elbow to try to keep it all in my lat. So what I'm gonna do here is a little bit of a higher rep set and I'll probably, since I'm doing unilateral, I'm probably just gonna go back to back to back to like three sets. So while one side is resting, the other side's working. So typically I'm a huge, huge believer in an entire full range of motion. And, but the thing, the reason I'm doing a little bit of a shortened range here, and I'm kind of trying to push my arm in an arch, is it's so hard for me to find my lats. My lats are so just difficult for me to find. And since there's such a big locking point, I'm really just trying to kind of focus and hone in on them. So I'm doing this to isolate them. Um, so what you're seeing here is an isolated lat row. It's not the entire contraction, not the entire full range of motion. You're not now you're not really emphasizing you know, your traps and your rhomboids and whatever, you, whatever. We're focusing the lats here. So guys, the entire point of this row I'm doing right here is gonna be more for like a rear delt and trap focus. I'm actually leaned over the cable apparatus so that I'm pulling completely vertically. Now when I say completely vertically, I mean what is pulling directly against gravity is my rear delts. So what I'm doing is I'm leaning 
right over and I'm trying to pull my elbows up and backwards. So I'm trying to keep my elbows directly above gravity as well. So that way I'm pulling right in line with my rear delts. Another muscle that I have a really, really tough time feeling. This time I'm going with the four inch motion though. It's something that I think a lot of people besides myself struggle with. A lot of people along with myself struggle with is feeling their rear delts. So I'm gonna show you guys this one from another angle here. My head is pretty much on the cable apparatus as I'm trying to just be as vertical as I possibly can be. And the reason I'm not doing it like lean back or at a different angle is because in this angle, I'm really, really locked in. I'm tight and there's nothing else I can really do. If my head is on the, the cable apparatus, I can't really, if I move, if I'm shifting my body, I'll know. All right, let's do a quick physique update. I'm down about like two or three pounds since the last time we did this uh, one, this little little mini one in a video. Um, but two or three pounds on my small frame, it's gonna make a huge difference. So um, I'm, I'm feeling significantly better than I did uh, two or three weeks ago for the last one. So let's hit this really quick. So I'm gonna be boxing the locker room. So, so feeling pretty good. Gonna hit some light intensity cardio. Uh, been walking on the treadmill at a three speed, 10 incline, and it's working, man. I'm feeling, I'm feeling leaner. So leave a like if you liked it. Let me know what you think of raw workouts. I'll see you in the gym.